5G uh, adds additional dimensions of latency and reliability, which allow us to finally address time-sensitive and mission-critical applications. Uh, for example, manufacturing and robotics, uh, automotive industry and autonomous vehicles, uh, e-health, and uh, from a consumer standpoint, really delivering superior experience on something like cloud gaming. So I would say that 5G represents more the first generation of being able to unlock enterprise productivity and open up a new segment of opportunity for our carriers, which could be equal or bigger than the consumer segment of today. So the current operation systems largely uh, are, are based around physical and static uh, uh, objects and, and, and endpoints. If you take 5G slicing as an example, it represents an end-to-end -end logical network with, with hundreds of configurations that define it, and there would be thousands of such slices that would be running at any given point of time. So in order to run these services at scale, uh, customers need to think that they need very short time to market with the services and they need to be, bring services to the market in a very agile way. So, uh, and also a second aspect is that uh, there will be SLAs behind each one of these services, ensuring that all this agility, uh, having the SLAs under control requires a lot more automation than what they have today and also having their processes much more integrated than they have today. So that brings a, a completely new paradigm complete, compared to uh, the way operations are done today. So Teal Center allows to convert the, the processes of designing, uh, ordering, and assuring a service in a combined way. And that will bring the agility of being much more faster in terms of making services available and also be much more uh, efficient in the way uh, the, the, the SLAs that have been contracted are met and under control all the time. So transformation is about technology, people, and process. The Digital Operations Center brings the technology to flexibly allow our customers to, to plan the, the journey of transformation to becoming a DSP. But in addition to that, the transformation does not have to be a big bang uh, process or a big bang step. And that's where Nokia with the framework allows to allow the customers to break down the problem and this transformation into more bite-sized business problems that we need to address. Uh, and lastly, but probably the most important aspect of this transformation needs to be the people, the, the competence, and the domain expertise that Nokia can bring to the table. Nokia has started already working with different operators around the world, uh, being it Singtel in APAC, uh, A1 in Europe, and a few customers in North America, uh, as well as we've started working with other vendors in, a, in order to ensure that a multi-vendor network uh, would work and be successful, as well as the operations of those networks uh, would work um, as expected. Singapore Power and SPTEL, uh, as an enterprise customer of ours, is looking to use the full stack to address enterprise services through zero-touch operations right from the outset. Uh, and we're also working with a uh, with a uh, EU-funded uh, program called 5G Winnie that allows us to ensure that this uh, technology is uh, being proven multi-vendor and also looking at how the services take shape in terms of modeling these uh, 5G slices and actually deploying them on the ground. So across all dimensions, we have, we have had great success in introducing this technology for 5G.